Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have another Divi tutorial that relates to the header. So in this one I'm going to show you how to swap out or change, replace the Divi header logo that's in the theme builder when you scroll down. So this is going to go along with some of our previous tutorials like when we had the header fixed or we had the color change or we had things shrink. A lot of times um, you also want to replace the image just depending on what page it is and all that. So here's how you do that. Let's get started to show you how. Okay, so just to start here, I have two other tutorials. The one, the first one I had was how to change the Divi header background color when you're scrolling. So like, let's say we had it transparent and then we ch wanted to change it to a dark color when we scroll down the page. So that's this tutorial. You can go check that one out. It's linked in the blog post. So if you're on YouTube, go over to the blog post, you'll find the links. And then we also had this one here, how to shrink the header when scrolling. And you can see here what, what we're doing here. We're actually shrinking the, the um, size of the image, the logo, and some of the padding. Um, not sure what else we we're doing, but basically shrinking items in the header. So the idea here is people are saying, well, what about if I want to replace that logo? And that's especially important if you're changing the color. So here, for example, I have a green background and I have a logo. And let's say when we scroll here, we want to make this stay fixed and we want to replace that image. Okay, so let's go into our theme builder template. So go to Divi, theme builder, and then I'm going to go into this custom template here. We're going to do two things in here. The first one, as you can see from the blog post, so if you're on YouTube, make sure you check that out. Um, we're gonna add a class to the section, okay? So we're gonna put that in the advanced tab and we're gonna say PA header. So let's go do that. That's gonna be step number one here in the theme builder. So go to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes and say PA header. And you may remember this from the other tutorials, both this tutorial and this other tutorial, the shrinking and the changing color use the exact same thing. In fact, there's gonna be some more things that are the same. Now for the background, just make sure that it's set to um, default. So like if, if you want a certain color, that's fine. But if you are want it to be transparent, like I do, I'm gonna hit that. And then in the advanced tab, position. So let's set the position to fixed. Okay, so again, in the advanced tab, position fixed. There we go. So right now, if we were to look at this, it wouldn't be very nice. So it's just, you know, it's just white and the text is white and we, nothing's changing. So let's go back to our tutorial. The next step here is to get this jQuery code. All right, so copy that entire thing. And again, if you did any of the other tutorials, then you're perfectly fine because we've already added this. So add it to theme options, integration, and then here in this first one. All right, so again, same snippet as changing the color and shrinking. All right, then back in here. And actually now let's go back to the one where we changed the color. And you don't have to do this. I'm, I'm doing this to show you. So I'm going to copy that and put it in here in the theme options in the custom CSS. And the reason I'm doing this first will make a lot more sense when we get to that logo that, that we're getting to. Um, so let's refresh this. All right, so now it's transparent. And basically at this point, you can see it's changing color when we scroll, okay? Wow, that transition's really slow. Um, I think I accidentally, yeah, it's set to two seconds. It should be like 0.2 seconds. Anyway, that's... <laughs> not related. Okay, so again, you can see that it's working if that's what we wanted to do, but we want to swap this logo because here we might say, oh, it looks great when we're here with this darker background and the white logo, but we want to change it when it changes. All right, so now in our tutorial here today, we have some code here. It's pretty simple. Copy this. And what this is doing, it's using that new class that we've added and it's saying it's targeting that image the logo image the one in the menu module okay not just any image but the one in the menu module if you wanted to do just a regular image you would change 
this class to ETPB image. Anyway, so here where it says insert new logo image URL. Basically, when we scroll, it's using this an image. So let's get an image. Um, see if I have some random image. Here's one. Um, it's probably not going to show up very good, but let's do it anyway. Copy that. Let's go to your media library, copy an image, and then put it right in here. Perfect. Save that. I'm going to go ahead and add my dots here. Wow. That two seconds was really long. All right. Now let's see if this works. Here we go. We're going to scroll. <laughs> there you have it. Wow. It actually doesn't look bad. All right. So there you go. That's how you replace the logo. And again, you did not have to do what I did. You don't have to make this transparent. You know, I'm just showing you the, the reason people ask for that is usually because they're changing the color. Okay. So there you go. Hope that was helpful. Um, you know, we have a lot of tutorials and again, you can combine them. Maybe someday I'll do a combination tutorial where I just go through every single one, do them all at once, like the shrinking and the changing the color. But there you go. Pretty happy with that. Hope you are too. All right. So that's how you replace the Divi Theme Builder logo there in um, the Theme Builder when it's fixed and when you're scrolling down. So I hope that was helpful. I know I had a lot of people asking for that. Um, let me know if I'm missing any header tutorials. I know I have, I don't know, maybe like 20 now, and a lot of them we're using the menu module. So let me know. Um, I know some people are asking for like mobile menu tutorials, and I definitely have a ginormous one coming up on that. But in general, with the header, let me know what else you want to see, and we'll see you guys in the next video.